Beautiful scene as we've closed out our day. We are enjoying a little bit more sunshine each and every day, at least hours thereof. And as we take a look at temperatures across the nation, the cold here has dove all the way into the Gulf Coast states. You've been watching stories throughout the day about our neighbors in Texas dealing with the cold, and they are actually telling people just stay home. Do not travel. Some of them have several inches of snow in portions of Oklahoma and actually down in Houston, a little dusting of snow as well. And they're reminding people not to light the barbecues inside your houses up here. I saw people out this weekend with shorts on. No kidding. So don't wear shorts and you yeah, might want to grab the coat. It's still cold out there. We do have wind from the south and that is really going to pay dividends as we go into the latter part of the week. It's only six miles per hour. So that wind chill less biting, but still on that side of Chile. Four below the actual air temperature in Fargo. Two below after Grand Forks got above zero today. Briefly, it's still zero in Jamestown. Two below in Devil's Lake and the cold spot Langdon at eight below zero. Western Minnesota, very cold this morning with 30s below in central portions of the state. And wind chills for most areas are reasonable based on recent standards. We're talking 15 to 30 below as we head into the evening hours. Another look at temperatures. Here's that black line. That is the zero degree line all the way into Oklahoma now as we head into the evening hours. So that cold, dense, shallow air mass has made its way all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico. It hugs the Rocky Mountains and it's not tall enough to make it over. So you just go a few miles on the other side of the Rocky Mountains, it's warm. And this is really interesting. Um, the visible satellite here shows the white, that's the clouds, the moving white, th those clouds are on the way through the southeast. The stationary white from the Dakotas straight down into Houston, Texas, snowpack. This is not something you see every day, all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, where we do have winter storm warnings, we have freeze warnings, we have um, wind chill warnings across the region as we head into the weekend and take a look at the radar right now with me. We see snowy weather from St. Louis right up into the Ohio River Valley for Cincinnati and now the Southern Great Lakes. Ice storm here on the radar is uh, making its way through uh, portions of Kentucky and Tennessee and then a very active radar down in Florida where we've had severe thunderstorms and even tornado warnings tonight. Uh, breeze from the south continues. Temperatures diving into the teens below by bedtime. And then take a look at these morning temperatures. We will only cool a few more degrees. Teens to around 20 below for an air temperature to start your day. Again, the coldest weather will be for our viewers in central Minnesota. Wadena, Hubbard County, and Park Rapids up north into the Bemidji area, all the way to the Lake of the Woods, where we could see a few of you down in the 30s below zero once again. Wind chills will be 25 to 45 below for most, so a little less biting than the last few days. Your Tuesday midday forecast shows temperatures rising. The black line shows, hey, there's a shot in the afternoon at seeing some above zero temperatures for the first time for many of us in 11 days tomorrow. If you stay below zero, that'll be your 11th day. In Fargo, we do get to above zero readings in the afternoon briefly and then fall back down quickly into the evening. Again, not as brutal as today or the day before. Your hometown forecast shows a few degrees either side of zero across our area. And that trend continues in the planning forecast. A gorgeous shot here by Aaron from Riley's Acres of that sun dipping low on the horizon. Nine on Wednesday with a flurry in the forecast. Thursday, I expect temperatures back in the teens again. Take a look at Friday. It looks like we hit the 20s. The weekend will bring a chance of snow. Doesn't look like a great chance, but we'll track it for you. Then for that Biza game, we're expecting 30 gorgeous degrees. Monday, maybe a better chance of snow, but also a better chance at warming things up a little bit higher and low 30s as we try to warm up the snow banks here in the valley. Better yet, I like your enthusiasm and those numbers you're showing us. Thanks.